Let's focus on speed and let's install Windows completely onto a RAM disk. To get started, let's create a directory where we will mount our RAM disk. So mk dir RAM disk. Okay, and uh, let's uh, mount our temporary file system. Mount t tmpfs dash o size equals 40 gigabytes and uh, tmpfs might end up using swap space so if you do have a swap partition keep that in mind i do not have a swap partition i only have 64 gigs of ram no swap so in my case i should be good okay uh, tmpfs and it will be home vm is my home directory and ram disk okay next we'll have to create our qcow image so qemu dash img create dash f qcow2 and we'll place it into home vm ram disk and disk.img and it will be 34 gigabytes in size in size okay good that's ready next let's copy our windows iso and a couple other files so cp and i keep them in backup so home vm backup and we'll copy it to home vm ram disk and let's do this okay okay and once that's done we'll edit our initialization script okay so let's okay and we'll add these couple lines so drive file equals home vm ram disk and uh, we'll do it a couple times because we'll be copying the the actual drive and two cd-rom isos so this one will be disk.img and we'll use the driver for vert io and i will leave the link in the video description for that okay next will be our iso so win 10.iso and will be index equals one because we'll have several uh, cd-rom drives so index one and media cd-rom so cd-rom and let's just copy that let's see so we vert io and index will be two okay let's save that close it and let's try uh, running it okay so that's working 
my stopwatch here and we'll use it to time our installation. Okay, so let's see. We'll get it started and we'll start our timer. Here we'll have to load the Vertile driver because we can't even see our disk. Go back, you know what? Yeah, uh, we can't see the disk because the driver hasn't been loaded. That's why we needed the two CD-ROM drives. So load drivers uh, and it will be here. And I will leave it in the video description. You can download it. So, and we'll use uh, this one. Doesn't really matter. Windows 10, MD64. And once that finishes, we should see our virtual hard drive there. Okay, we'll create the all the partitions and let's get the installation started so let me get ready here too many mice on my desk okay so and we'll see how long it takes again so the ram i'm installing it uh into it's 64 gigs Running at 3300 megahertz, I believe. Mm, yeah, it's a dual channel, but four sticks. It's on 9900K, overclocked to 5 gigahertz. So the timings are, I think, around 16. It's cast latency is 16 on this, which doesn't really matter, but. Uh, just so we know what we are dealing with. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's moving along. This method is, it's a, it's a, the speeds we will get out of this are pretty decent. Uh, again, we didn't really try too much optimization. Uh, there are other ways of creating RAM disks. Okay, and we are done in about, well, one minute and, uh, I don't know, a couple seconds. So, we can, once it reboots, I mean, we can continue. But uh, Windows, we should be in Windows rather quickly. Let's continue, let's see. How long this part takes. Once this finishes, we'll run Crystal Disk Mark and benchmark the performance of our RAM disk. Okay. So we are in Windows, it took about a little more than five minutes because I stopped the timer uh, when uh, after the first reboot or before the first reboot. So let's install Cr Crystal Disk Mark. Okay, and let's see. Because Crystal Disk Mark takes a while, I will be fast forwarding through it. The sequential reads and writes are generally pretty good. All the other tests are not that spectacular, but uh, that pretty much comes with the territory when it comes to virtual machines. So, but yeah, the sequential numbers look really good. And when you do this, it's important to install those Vertio drivers. Without them, it's not that great. So, also, if you really want to make this practical, your best bet is probably something like uh, buying an Optane drive. 
and using that for your virtual machine because your RAM, uh, most, most of us don't have tons of RAM. So even with 64 gigs of RAM, that's pretty limited for day-to-day -day usage of the virtual machine. Because I, like this one, it's 40 gigs of RAM for the RAM disk. And uh, yeah, it's not much space to work with. Okay, so those would be the results. Now let's shut down the virtual machine and I'll also go over briefly over virtual manager. To do the same thing in the virtual machine manager, we will choose an installation media and in our case it will be, I located it in the RAM disk, so Windows 10 how many cores you want to give to it. We'll create custom storage and we will place it right here to our RAM disk directory. So it will be QCOW and it will be 34 gigabytes in size. Next we'll customize it. Okay, so what we'll do We'll make it a UEFI, UEFI installation, Windows 10, memory, 4 gigs, enough for now. Uh, this will be, let's change that to vert IO. Okay. In order to get the best performance. And we'll, we can keep this for now. One more thing, we will add the CD-ROM drive with the drivers. Okay, and we can uh, start the process. So same idea, same process as before. Well, I'll see you in the next video.